important win tonight and a great game of football to match. Yeah, it was an important win. It's a difficult place to, to come and play. Uh, Bray are a decent side. They've got a lot of decent players. So we've come here and won twice, which is which is a big plus for us. You know, it's six points on the road. Um, and they've had a fantastic season so far. So we're delighted, particularly after you know, a long journey to Derry. And Bray didn't play, obviously. So they're a bit fresher than us. And I think that probably told in the last 10, 15 minutes we got pinned back a little bit. But no, I was delighted with the players' performance. It was very good. Is that a great boost to Chrissy Fagan's confidence, getting a couple of goals in? Yeah, it is. Um, I think you're seeing after he got the goals, he livened up a little bit more. He's, he, was, he was good tonight for us. and We've missed him because he gives you something different with, with Pisto. We could get the two of them together, we, we'd be OK. But we seem to get one back and the other gets injured. So we're hoping that uh, Pisto will be OK come Friday. But um, now we'll do is constantly like all goal scorers, centre forwards. They want to score goals. And if they're not they're disappointed, if they're scoring them, well, then they get more confidence and hopefully that'll help them. And of course, the other distraction today was the European draw, and one of the possible opponents is in Ljubljana, where you managed before with Shelburne. Are, are you looking forward to the European draw? There's two possibles there. And um, to be honest, I didn't even look at it. I didn't know till five o'clock what we, who we draw, or where we were going. But it's not a priority for me at the moment. To be honest, I have a lot more things to be worrying about than Europe, and I haven't even looked at the thing. And it won't do for a while. When it comes around, we'll deal with it. But up to that, we've, like I said, we've we've to deal with a lot more issues than going to play a match in Europe. And the transfer window was opening soon. You signed Stephen Hurley recently. Um, will you tell us a bit about how you came across him? Yeah, well, we know Stephen when he played at UCD and he played here for a while as well. But um, we watched him over a period of time at Arklow and we felt he did quite well. And it's an area of the pitch where we, he can pass the ball, Stephen. He's a central midfielder more than wide. We played him wide and there he was killing him suspended. But he's, he gives us something different probably to what we have with the other boys. He's he's longer range of passing. Uh, he's good size as well. So physically, he's, he's a decent player, you know. So I think he'd be a good addition to the squad. Um, and he's come in on the cheap, which is great as well, which is what we're looking to do. So in fairness to him, he's come in just to play football. So that's brilliant. Will we be doing any other business though? Will Danny Joyce be hanging around still? I'm not sure. Um, that's something probably that the board of directors will have to answer rather than me. I can't answer that at the moment. Um, I wouldn't have thought so that we'd be doing any more business, to be honest. Do we need a striker or do we need to bulk up in any area of the pitch? Yeah, we could do with another striker or two, but I mean, we, we have no money to do it, so we won't be able to do it. That's the way things are at the moment. Things are, are not great. So um, we just, you know, we, we've got the two lads and young Owen Fowler, in fairness to him, is, is doing really well in the reserves and is improving all the time. Um, so we'll, we'll work with that and try to get him you know, into the equation and maybe into some of the games as well. But that's where we're at at the moment. So um, we just have to stick with that and see how it goes. Three of the four semi-finals of the Leinster Senior Cup have been confirmed. Is there any sign of us playing Rovers in the other quarter-final? I don't know. We, we, we agreed a couple of dates with Rovers and uh, other people intervened and said we couldn't play. So, um, again, it's not it's not top of my list, to be honest, the Leinster Senior Club, Cup, to be honest. But we'll just have to wait and see. I presume they'll try to fix it at some stage, but... Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be something that we'd be we'd be throwing all the first team players into that's for certain. And we've drawn on Friday who were playing really well lately, aren't they? Yeah, they've got a bit of shape about them. Mick has, has them organised. I think they'll probably strengthen in July as well. I spoke to Mick, so I think they you know they they look like they're picking up a few results. And um, he's a good manager. Mick's very experienced, and it took him a while. Obviously, he came in late, and he's got them organised and fit now. So it'll be a difficult game for us. The game's a difficult game up there. So we expect nothing different from any team in the league. Everybody, you know, all the teams that we play are, are difficult to break down and diff difficult to beat. But we're at home, so we've got to have a you know we have to have a go. And our home record is not the best, so we want to try change that. If we can. Just finally, are, are there any bodies that'll be missing on Friday? Or? Well, we're hoping Bisto will be okay. He, he picked up a bit, a, a bit of a groin in the last game and um, he wasn't available for Derry. Um, so he, he, he probably wouldn't have been available tonight neither, only for suspended. So we're hoping. He did a little bit of training on Sunday. If he does a little bit again tomorrow and then tours him, we'll see how he is. Um, again, we can't risk him, you know, it's not something we can throw him in and he's gone for four or five weeks. He has to be right, so we'll wait and see how he is. Great, thank you very much. Well done tonight. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.